Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Unscripted Coding. Um, some of my most popular videos are these VR ones, and I have my Oculus Quest 1 strapped to my face again. Uh, you can see that we are revisiting um, Visual Studio Code. And I don't know why it just did that. Here we go. Um, so, uh, we are revisiting running work on a web browser, and I am not uh, going to spend very long on this. Uh, you can see this is just the standard Oculus web browser, and I have uh, done a bit, bit of research beforehand right here on the browser, and I have here uh, VS Code.dev. So in a previous video, we put Visual Studio Code right on the, on the web, and ah, I see it's detecting my hands, and so it's causing various things to happen. Um, okay, sorry. Um, we use something called Coder to put Visual Studio Code right on uh, the web. Uh, Coder, yes. And today we have VS Code.dev. It is an official. Visual Studio Code right on the web, you just punch it into your web browser and you will get the full VS Code experience, or rather uh, a fairly close one. So one of the things is, if you do extensions, you can actually install themes. You can install certain extensions, um, and so I have, for example, installed uh, some bracket highlighting thing. Uh, ability to access GitHub, um, and I don't think um, Python actually runs. So you can see partial, partial IntelliSense support only. Um, doesn't matter. What I'm saying is it has a much better coverage than Coder. Uh, no, uh, definitely not as good as desktop, um, very limited in comparison. Um, so, for example, if I search up GitHub, you're going to see Copilot, which I gushed about before, is not available on here. But the rest of it is very similar. If I go Explorer or Search or um, <clears throat> Source Control, sorry, I'm just checking my feed here. Um, run and debug, you can't really run things, but you have a very similar interface to your um, to your desktop version. Uh, while working in Oculus browser, I wanted to mention a couple things. Number one, the Quest still does very poorly with Bluetooth keyboards and mice. Um, I have tried to use uh, the Microsoft Surface Bluetooth devices and they just did not pair reliably. I have the um, Logitech K380. That has worked wonderfully well and same with the Logitech M720 mouse. Uh, it seems to me, at least in my kind of very low uh, sample size, uh, Logitech devices just work fine and then every other brand, even good ones like Microsoft, uh, do not work well. Uh, other thing I wanted to mention, you can play music on the side and keep uh, running. I think I turned volume all the way down, but um, but you can run uh, you can run music on the side if you want something on YouTube or Spotify. Uh, you can have multiple tabs, but three windows is as large as you can get. And for me, what I find is you are very much limited in the vertical space here. Uh, on the other hand, horizontally, and I'm running low on time here, you can expand this quite a bit. And so you can fit a lot of text in that, in that way. And of course, uh, if you start typing functions, define biz buzz, It'll be very simple. Uh, print, no, for i in range, and print i. And of course, that's not fizzbuzz. You should have a couple of different conditions. Unfortunately, you can't run it, so you can't really tell me this doesn't work anyways. 
But what I wanted to show is it's still frustrating. It's a mobile browser, so you cannot select text for any reason. Um, so when I edit text, I have to shift and um, it's problematic. I have to shift and use my arrow keys to select large chunks. It's really problematic because coders, you know, you're supposed to be moving. Uh, you're supposed to be moving this chunk and moving it up and down, left and right. It's very hard if if all you can do is is shift and control. The other thing that I think I can get used to, but I'm not used to it, is you can't scroll up and down with your. Uh, oh, actually, I guess you can with your um, scroll wheel, but you can see it's not very responsive. And so I have come to moving it up and down by clicking and dragging instead. That goes where I think it's supposed to, whereas the scroll wheel is not carrying through. Um, I don't want to belabor this point. Uh, you can go check out my video on Coder just to see how everything works, see some of that work. Um, but Nothing has really changed. Coder was very similar to this VS Code.dev. Uh, you have a more official version. Um, chances are you're not going to be dealing with local files. You'll be using, you'll just be connecting directly to GitHub or Bitbucket or something else to do work anyways. Um, but it's very doable. It's, it's very tantalizingly close. Um, what I find also a negative is the Oculus browser has been optimized. The zoom level is bigger than I'd like. You're usually getting a, a mobile site rather than desktop. It's fixed. So um, another thing I don't like is you cannot move this forward or backwards. They figure this is the best configuration for you. Um, you cannot move these very much. You can just explain places but you cannot, um, you cannot customize the experience very well. So that's where, that's where I'm at. Um, the picture's clear, I like it. I think we're very close, but we're not quite there yet. There's a couple really nagging problems before I can start using this wholesale. But VS Code is just one tool. I saw a, a 3D CAD uh, tool that's all running on the web as well. There's, of course, Microsoft Office, Google Docs. I can see those being very, very popular. So um, it has been, I think, three, four months since my coder video already. Things haven't changed. You would think these are very minor issues, but this doesn't seem to be a focus for, for Oculus at the moment. Uh, I will update you guys again when, when I see more, but uh, Visual Studio Code having an official cloud version is excellent. Um, all of these tools coming online is excellent, but uh, the Oculus browser itself, not excellent. Um, that's all I have to say. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below. If you have any suggestions at all, uh, do let me know as well. I know there are lots and lots and lots of ways to put apps on these devices. Uh, I, as I'm speaking right now, I'm thinking, I think Mozilla Firefox has a browser as well that maybe we can try and maybe they've solved some of these problems. Um, but as it stands, I, I, I love it. I think it's pretty cool. I just think there's a couple minor things before I can start using this. And if I had an Oculus Quest 2, that's probably better as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned next week for another video uh, coming up on our channel. Thanks.